okay good morning to all <coughs> up to now we discussed about first law of thermodynamics applied for non flow process and first law of thermodynamics applied for flow process and we solved some simple problems by application next today's class we will discuss uh, what are the polarities means uh, its uh, findings findings of first law of thermodynamics second what are the limitations of first law of thermodynamics why because if everything is good what is the next step of second law of thermodynamics if something is wrong that's why we move to the second law of thermodynamics something is missing not wrong something is missing based on the first law of thermodynamics energy in equal to energy out or energy in minus energy out equal to change in energy it's simple based on the system we derived the equation separately <laughs> but <coughs> commonly we can stated law of conservation of energy energy neither created nor destroyed it can change from one form to another form but something first of all first we will discuss about the findings what are the findings of first law of thermodynamics first we will discuss the findings are first one energy balance i already mentioned Uh, that is uh, for uh, for any process heat supply minus work done equal to change in energy for non flow process change in energy means change in internal energy for flow flow process means change in enthalpy so in any flow process or non flow process total energy in minus total energy out equal to change in energy in non flow process change in internal energy flow process change in enthalpy the why because their uh, flow work also coming to the picture the second system second uh, finding from the first law of thermodynamics application isolated system i isolated system energy is constant this is one more finding of the first law of the a first law of thermodynamics and the third finding of first law of thermodynamics is violation of first law of thermodynamics practically not possible perpetual motion machine of first kind three findings energy in minus energy out equal to change in energy that change in energy in closed system is only change in internal energy in open system is change in enthalpy because internal energy flow work kinetic energy Okay. and second one isolated system energy is constant and third finding violation of thermodynamics practically not possible thermodynamics first law perpetual motion which now first kind okay what are the limitation these are the findings limitation <coughs> <coughs> will move to the limitations if i satisfied first law of thermodynamics i can design the engine it can work is the first question mark really it can work once we design the engine that is a big question mark to us the reality is there or not and everywhere here uh, they concentrated on quantity energy in equal to energy out that's all In first unit we discuss different types of the energies there nuclear energy kinetic energy potential energy tidal energy so many energies are there solar energy we are dealing with quantity means we can't bifurcate quality also required so some of the findings limitations we identified with example i am explaining then we will get the clear idea suppose direction of feasibility hot cup of coffee i place in open atmosphere what it will happen coffee will cool right automatically after some time reaching coffee will cool it will get the thermal equilibrium is one direction there we can give the energy balance how much heat lost by the coffee that's all uh, heat gained by the a by convection process whatever it may suppose in one direction reverse direction 
by absorbing heat from the ambient this hot coffee further heating is possible there also energy balance we can do energy balance point of view there is no issue energy lost by the air is gained by the coffee but it is practically possible it cannot flow from low temperature to high temperature so direction feasibility in the first law of thermodynamics energy in equal to energy out that's all there they are not mentioned any direction in jones experiment also you again you recall yourself we supplied work we are not supplied heat that example also we did and the second example electrical resistor uh, immersion rods we are using for heating heating of air and heating of liquid we are supplying the electrical energy we are producing heat suppose now i am not supplying heat <coughs> it is capability to by supplying of the electrical energy we are producing heat is a one direction now i will give heat to the resistor it is capable to produce uh, electrical energy in energy balance we can do heat supply equal to work done but in electrical resistor i am supplying heat it is producing any electrical energy is it practically possible so direction feasibility is the first constraint and next pedal wheel jones experiment we supplied mechanical energy thermodynamic work by lowering or lifting of weight the whole effect we are applying on system we supplied work there due to the steering operation heat is generated inside the vessel okay now i will give heat to the vessel it can produce mechanical energy am i right so direction feasibility thermodynamic first law not mentioned only energy balance the first limitation of the first law of thermodynamics <coughs> <coughs> by energy balance there is no restriction on direction of the process if i satisfied first law of thermodynamics there is no assurance of the process can actually occur or not three examples i mentioned in one direction it is possible but second direction it is practically not possible we can't assure so this inadequacy of the first law of thermodynamics identified the process <coughs> to rectify that one second law of thermodynamics is introduced and second constraint one is direction of visible second quantity 1 kilo joules of the coal energy or fossil fuel energy is not equal to 1 kilo joules of the electrical energy because from coal to electrical energy useful form we want to convert heat to work may be conversion efficiency 40 means both energies are not equal quality is required in first law of thermodynamics only quantity there is no quality okay so quality it is not introduced quality is introduced degradation of the energy loss we can identify based on the process different process are there constant pressure constant volume constant temperature adiabatic polytropic like that in that process in which process more degradation is taking place then select according to the condition less degradation of the energy process we can select for execution of the our engine work so quality not discussed so it is decided <coughs> first we will apply second law of thermodynamics for determination of the quality and second one direction of this once it is satisfied then we will move to the first law of thermodynamics for designing of the system so second law of thermodynamics we are using only for feasibility study not designing we are confusing and uh, very very computational exam designing of the system always based on the first law of thermodynamics only but for study of the feasibility direction feasibility and degradation of the energy uh, calculation only we are using second law of thermodynamics 
in the final conclusion all spontaneous uh, spontaneous projects uh, process in nature occurs only in one direction not two direction in order to another uh, direction they will not takes place spontaneously and need some energy i want to move reverse direction we want to supply some energy otherwise in nature in one direction feasibility only is possible the direction feasibility is not decided not discussed in the first law of thermodynamics so first we are applying second law of thermodynamics for direction feasibility once it is satisfied then we are applying first law of thermodynamics and we are designing the all thermal engineering components with this we are ending the <laughs> subject next we will start uh, third unit second law of thermodynamics thank you